Hey there, my name is Taylor and today we're going to go over bringing some life to your drums and to your sound by using some Foley sounds. So, got a drum rack over here, got another drum rack, got a blank audio track and an instrument rack. I'm going to be utilizing all this stuff today. So, first, first of all, I want to create just a little simple beat here. Just four on the floor, nothing special. Let's play it back. All right, got some kicks going. Get some hi hats in there. Let me displace those beats a little bit. All right. So, got basic rhythm going on here. Got the hi hats, got the kicks. All right. So, now let's layer that with some foley. So, already in this drum rack, I have a bunch of foley going on here. Record all these just to be like things that I found around my house. Um, so we got box shaker here. Um, it's a wood box with like a bunch of picks. Uh, record this uh, with a tube mic uh, with my good buddy Ben Anderson. Um, castanets lighter sounds, uh, key sounds, and a force ball, which is kind of like a workout um, kind of tool there. You just spin it around and it creates force and lights up. It's cool. Okay, yep, recorded that. Got all those sounds in there. And hopefully you'll be provided with this Pyramine sample, sampler fully folder here. All those sounds will be in there. Um, got a bunch of sounds, you know, castanets, low finger cymbals, meditation balls, foam and books, key sounds, lighter sounds, the works. And finally, tool sounds, cassette player, drill, hammer sounds, and pliers and screwdrivers. So now let's just drag this MIDI onto this drum rack here. Let's get trigger the scene. So I'm just going to copy this MIDI over here and just delete those hi hats. So you get these hi hats onto something that we can use. Start with some lighter sounds. Kind of crackly. Maybe layer the kick with something that's a little bit more percussive. Maybe hook slam. Gives a little bit of room to that kick. Those in the mix a little bit more. I almost like that a little bit better without those hi hats.
Now we can get some rim shots going, build our beats. All right, so we're utilizing that fully. So now let's try using some of this as audio. Let's try this guy. It has that nice tear in there and we can get some nice harmonic content out of that. So we're just gonna be utilizing the beats algorithm in here. mute that other layer. I'm just gonna go ahead, put this in the 16th, put in like restart mode here or this off mode. So once it hits that big tear, it has more, uh, just more volume, more harmonic content, but it also creates movement in the beat as well. One thing you can also do is just hit this hot swap button and then since it's in 16ths right now you can throw in a 16th swing onto that. We'll actually quantize the beats in the algorithm here which is pretty awesome. So you can dictate where all that harmonic content will be focused, almost like you're automating some type of filter open. Pretty cool, gives it a nice texture. Take those forest balls out of there. Cool. So now let's get some type of, uh, after getting all that rhythm section together, let's put together a little sampler. So let's go back into the sounds in here. Maybe try one of these hammer hits. Let's drop it in here. Kind of sounds like a bell. Move that a little bit closer, put the snap on so it snaps to zero crossing. I want to make this into a sampler so I can change that root key because now I want to tune this guy. All right, so it's going to go directly into the instruments here, dragging an operator so I can pitch match it. So it looks like this sample's a D. It's like, whoa, that's weird. Sounds kind of cool though. Now I can just layer that sound with a little bit of reverb. Keep that sub bass dry, because even though I pitch matched it, now I can just leave it in there and just keep it as beef. But I'll just copy that envelope. Cool. Now I can get one more sound in there, just layer that attack just a little bit more. Maybe this guy. Has a couple flaps in there. And take out one of these guys.
right, so now I got this little beat laid out here. Cut that into a four bar loop. So now this beat definitely has a little bit more character, has more movement, has an organic type of feel to it. And all these are sounds that are found around the house. So you literally can make your own sample library like this very easily actually by just finding some elements around your house and sampling like a good five minutes of you just playing with it. And then you can just chop out the best little sounds that you like and then put that into a sampler. But you have this little library here to get you started. So I hope you enjoy. So, you know, throw them into an instrument rack, work with them with audio, and throw them into a rack like this, put them into samplers, pitch match them with operators, and uh, you know, just have fun. So that concludes today's tip, but uh, I hope you got a couple good uh, little tidbits out of this. And um, thanks. Very much like to thank Pyramide for hosting me here once again. Um, I think this institution is really cool, and until I came here for the first time, I had never seen anything like it in my whole life. What I think really separates us from other people who teach is that we are outrageously passionate about what we do, and especially in electronic music. Since since coming to Pyramind, I, I've discovered electronic music, and you know, San Francisco being a mecca for underground electronic music opened up so many doors for me and kind of blew my mind. We cover everything from absinthe to contact. When people get to the mind-melting level, uh, we get into modular synthesis. Everything about native instruments, everything about logic synths, down to the, the finest detail. We, we learned it all. The fundamentals of understanding how things work, that's just essential. But then beyond that, there's so much more, and that's where it gets into just a lot of, of the artistic side of like the creative approach of, of why you do something, not just how. There's a lot of schools that just, you know, they focus on the technicality of, of recording music, um, but I wanted something that would foster creativity and, and really helped me develop as an artist as well. Each of our genre-specific programs comes in four levels. There's a basic, an advanced, a professional, and then a master's level. And the master's level is, of course, everything we do. It's the largest and most powerful programs that we can create for you.